Hi, Adam. Thank you for joining us today. Welcome. Emily, hi. How are you doing? Uh, great to be here. Thank you so much for agreeing to be an advocate for NL Reads this year. It's an honor to be invited, and yeah, just very, uh, very grateful to be able to to do this and to uh, you know get asked to read a book and talk about uh, an excellent book. I mean, what more do you want? <laughs> Fantastic. Do you want to start by just telling us a little bit about yourself? All right, about me. I am uh, the host of CBC Crosstalk. It's the lunchtime CBC NL ra provincial radio program. I've been doing that for a year and a bit. Uh, before that, I was a reporter. I grew up in uh, Mount Pearl and CBS and went to Munn. I've uh, lived in a few different places, and right now I'm living uh, in the East End in St. John's. Fantastic. So we're here today to talk about the Love Olympics by Claire Wilkshire. Uh, do you want to just tell us a little bit about that book to get started? It, I mean, it's, a, it's an excellent book. Uh, to have a series of, I mean, to have a book of short fiction like this with the Love Olympics about characters from young to older, family connections, friends, all going through uh, different storylines of their lives. Uh, it, it, in the way that Claire writes the book, it makes it just kind of fascinating. I Like the Love Olympics is such a great name for it, right? Because you go through everything from uh, dating to friendship, to families, to you name it of uh, the relationships we have in life. And I find that all of it, uh, what really attracted me to all of it was that in different situations, I would identify with the characters, right? Whether it was in the gig economy or whether it's someone who is uh, in a relationship. So there's people I'd identify with and then others who maybe was thinking of my parents or my grandparents or a neighbor. Mm -hmm. uh, it was thinking of those other situations. I found the book kept invoking empathy with me right. and, and and that kind of uh, it, it really just kind of struck me and, and and kept me very interested and then with the changing perspectives um it all kind of hit with this theme of the love olympics right because what are the olympics there's winning there's losing there's injuries there's the training before them all of that but thinking of it in life as the love olympics it just hit the right notes for me perfectly yeah, I love how you bring up about empathy because there, this is a book that has so much love in it, you know? I mean, it's not always a happy book, but it's, I think empathy no, is yeah. definitely a major theme. And it's so interesting you brought it up like that. Um, and the, the change in the storytelling too, right? Because I mean, there's mm. this one story that's from like the perspective of, I think it was like the house, but then another one that was, it starts about the, those 14 steps to get upstairs. And and, and it's, a, it's, you know, about this older uh, person, a good grandmother, going through her life and you can see she, there's a bit of a medical crisis going on and then later late, a little later on in the book it's about her granddaughter who she mentions and so all these connections it's almost like a book and and I'll, i've not read a book twice this is a book that i'm starting to read for the second time now because of the enjoyment and the connections the extra bits i'm getting from it it's interesting yeah because you don't get all where it's short stories as opposed to a novel you don't get all those different connections they're not as as clear as they might be otherwise but they're little gifts, right? Like mm. I find they're like little gifts through the book because you, when you, you're reading, you're like, okay. And then a little bit, you're, wait, wait, this is the, oh, that is so interesting. So I kind of want to go through it again, just to, because you'll get, uh, like you'll get even more, which is in such a good way uh, mm -hmm. to, to look at it. Cause it'd be slow, but sh like slowly as you realize the connections. And that's how like the book is so layered and lovely with all of this in a community in and around St. John's. Yeah, it's interesting too, because um, a friend of mine was reading this, she read it all out of order. Like I read it just straight through, but she wow. read it out of order and she thought, and she really enjoyed that as well. So I was just like, it's so interesting. Yeah, I guess in some ways in short stories, interconnected though they are, it, you have a little more freedom than a novel. You can play around like with the order you read the stories in. So maybe if you're rereading, you should jump around a bit. Yeah, that's a great idea. I didn't even think about that. That, it, but it is such a good idea because you're right. Like each one on its own is this. It, it's a little literary feast, right? Like you get this mm -hmm. little great story, and then it all connects. So then to kind of do it another way, uh, I even wonder. Like you know, it's it's you're thinking of a puzzle, but in that other way for what you get from it to reread in a different order, it could even be kind of like a different image at the end for what mm. you take from it. You know exactly yeah so good and i mean like like the little literary feast i mean the first the first story is like three pages it's super yeah, short yeah, yeah but you know you're i mean i don't know about you i was crying right away 
yeah. I feel like all of these videos, I'm talking about how much I'm crying and half these books are really fun and funny. <laughs> It, well, that's what it is, right? You have yeah. the, you have, there's lots of emotion. There's there, like, it goes from like, there's these warm feelings to some of the sadness to the, the, the hit, things that are hitting you obviously right in the feels of stuff, right? Like it, <laughs> even there's the, in one of the dating ones, right? It was, there's a line mm -hmm. um, uh, and just Claire's writing is just so good. There's a line about like being in bed and like he was covering her like a fitted sheet, I think it was. And it's just like, there's so much of that in the book that is, uh, that just kind of jumps from the page and and because it, it's so evocative for some of the, the the descriptions in it yeah in some of the ways this is a bit of a smaller book the stories are small you know like mm. trying what i'm trying to say i think is that it's there's no big grand events you know it's little things like being in the bed in bed with a loved one or spending a day with a friend or going on a date or you know Mo helping your moving kid. In, yeah helping your kids moving in helping your kid in toronto taking a driving lesson and that kind yeah. of a story moving into a house and and having mm -hmm. a like, like having it described about a relationship and and what you you start with nothing and you renovate this thing so then the house is not is so new it's not recognizable in a certain way but then like the ins and outs of a relationship over the years small but thoroughly human stories which exactly is the, factor. the events themselves are mundane but they're so richly described i think is a big part of it and the characters feel so real even though yeah. you don't spend much time with them as they would over a whole novel but you still you're you're right there with them the kids on the scavenger hunt so, yeah. yeah and by <laughs> the end you're like well and I, I think the cool thing for me was at the end of it it left me wanting to know more about all the people because as the connections were all made it was like I wonder how they're all doing now type of a thing because like it it is like the, the stories are so interesting and grabbed me so much that it, it's i would like to know what, mm -hmm. what was that? It, like you're right it feels like you're talking about real people yeah each one of these could be a whole novel onto themselves i think totally yeah. yeah um we're getting close to the end of our time we've already been talking for a little while um so do you want to make a pitch for nl reads like why should people read this book why should people vote for this book for nl reads well the pitch is why do people watch the olympics they watch the olympics for the ups the downs the big moments the small moments the the unexpected the love olympics is that right it's that but with people living their lives and these are things that you will identify with and if it doesn't feel like it's something that you can personally identify with as an individual you'll be reminded of your mom, your dad, your aunt, your uncle, your friend, your grandparents, and all of that, like I said in the beginning of this discussion, it it connects you with empathy. It gives you so much of an ability of thinking about empathy to connect with people and feeling how what they're going through in an entertaining, entertaining, witty, sometimes sad, sometimes fuzzy, nice feeling sort of way. Why would you not read this book? <laughs> Wonderful. Is there anything else you want to say about Love Olympics before we say goodbye? Uh, just, just, just read it because I think you you'll like it. You will not regret it. Well, Adam, thank you so much for joining me today. It was so fun to talk about this book with you. You too, and I'll see you later. Bye, Emily. Hey. Bye. Bye. Bye.